and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. This week, we're going to discuss comparing your mesh coverage using different meshes in SOLIDWORKS simulation. For years in simulation, we never really knew what was going on inside of our mesh. For all we knew, there was a surprise waiting for us inside, like this happy little geode. In 2016, we got the ability to section our mesh, and like good explorers, it was time to see what's in there. All that required was setting up a simple mesh plot showing the mesh. With this functionality combined with this year's improvements to the compare tool, we can now easily see and compare one mesh versus the other. Let's set up a section plot on our other study and take a look at how we can compare the two. I'll move over to my study two, and from within here, we can create a new plot. I'll right click on the mesh and choose create mesh quality plot. From here, we have the option to create a mesh plot, an aspect ratio, or a Jacobian. In this case, I'll create a mesh plot just to show the mesh. Now, aspect ratio will allow us to filter for skewed elements. Jacobian will allow us to filter for wrapped or distorted elements. We'll come back to that in a moment. For now, I'll just say OK. I've created my mesh quality plot, and now we'd like to section it. So from my mesh quality plot, I'll right click and select mesh sectioning. From within mesh sectioning, you can see we can choose for a plane or for a cylinder. In this case, I'll choose plane, and I'll select the plane that I already have preset up. This is a nice way to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. In this case, I have a plane set up so that it's coincident to the center of my small holes. I've chosen my plane, and now we just need to flip this over so we see the inverse. From here, we'll accept and that will store that section in my mesh plot. Now, as I mentioned, mesh sectioning on its own is a very helpful tool. From here, I can come in and explore my mesh coverage, and I'm able to determine whether my mesh is fine enough around the surface, as well as through the depth of the mesh. Now again, using the new functionality in 2017, I'd like to compare the two of these conveniently. Now this functionality has been there, it's just been improved for 2017. So what I'll do is I'll come up to compare results, and since I haven't run these studies, you'll see that all I have is my mesh plots to choose from. If the studies had been run, you'll see your additional plots in here as well. I'll select OK. And now we're within the compare tool. From here, I can zoom pan and rotate, and you'll see they'll zoom at the same time. Let's explore one section. This is a great way to explore your mesh or test out new mesh settings and see how they would apply to your model. Now don't forget, these mesh plots are a great way to find issues in your mesh as well. From here, you can see I'm comparing both the Jacobian as well as the aspect ratio mesh plots side by side. This will allow me to quickly pinpoint areas where my mesh may not be sufficient or may need some work in one way or another. Well, I hope these tips will help you to explore what's underneath the surface of your mesh and have more confidence in your sim results than ever. And as always, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 